Hello everyone, my name is Sarah Dichi, Runs with Peachy. What's up? I've been doing 12 days of Dichi, 12 days of Christmas, a video every single day with gift cards for you guys. Um, and it's been fun so far, so this is the sixth video video every day. I haven't done that since the vlogging days back in 2016, but it is the end. So this is the end, this video. I actually have like a ton of videos recorded, so I'll be putting them out um, consistently. Like I usually do like two videos a week. Um, but yeah, the everyday thing, I'm sabotaging my channel. And when you do YouTube for so long, you kind of realize it when you're kind of like, okay, stop experimenting. That's the one downside with this platform is it has zero tolerance for experimentation. You can't go outside your box. Of course, I have reinvented this channel so many different times. Um, and you have to do that as a YouTuber. It's probably the hardest thing. It, YouTube is quite literally like not just trying to take an arrow and, and getting it you know, to the center of the target every time, but also the targets moving, like at all times. Super fun. But no, I, I mean, YouTube's awesome. I, I'm a YouTuber, wouldn't trade it for the world. Um, but I just have that feeling that I've had multiple times before that it's like, oh, it's not working, stop the experimenting, because this every day really was, and it, I wanted to challenge myself and, um, you know, have fun with you guys and interact with you like every single day. But I did the mistake where I exper experimented too much. So you don't just like have a channel where the cadence is like one to two videos a week and then just completely do something different. I've seen a lot of friends, I've personally just like, I'm gonna change up everything and then it just like tanks everything and then you kinda gotta snap back to reality. So that's what we're doing. Um, I have like some really cool videos coming up that I'm super excited. It just won't be on the same cadence and then the videos that were kinda like filler videos just so I could get 12 days, yeah, I'm just scratching those. You you guys will never see those videos. Um, but what's, you know, everything is a is a learning exper experience. Oh yeah, you guys are probably like, gift cards, where are gift cards? Here, so now you don't have to wait for, you know, the 12 days, so I kept my promise with that. Um, yeah, YouTube's a funny place, so just like a little bit of inside baseball, I, I enjoy gaming, but I know this isn't a gaming channel, but I was really excited about Halo Infinite's release, and so I just felt like it was like the perfect collaboration with like the blue mic and Halo, and it's like a fun video, you guys should go watch it, but like I don't have a gaming channel, right? So I posted a gaming video, and then it doesn't do well. Okay, no surprise, whatever. But I should have moved on and just done normal stuff after that. But no, I was like, okay, to follow this up, I'm gonna do an experiment that I haven't done in years. Let's do a video every day just because YOLO. Um, so, you know, making the mistake twice in a row. I mean, okay, people say that having a bad video doesn't affect other videos on your YouTube channel. I don't believe that. That's like what YouTube says, but it's like when you have one bad video, it's literally like you dug yourself in a hole and you have to like try to figure out how to climb out of like a 20 foot ditch. Um, and so when you just keep making that mistake over and over and over, you're just like digging yourself farther in, in the hole. And if you guys didn't know this on the YouTube studio app, there's a part that basically says how your video is ranked amongst your other videos. So every time you post a video, if you have a 10 out of 10, that means it's like gotten the worst amount of views, right? And so you're always hoping for like either like a three out of 10, two out of 10, or one out of 10. That means, oh man, your video did better than the rest. It's on a good track, right? I'll show you guys this because I'm not gonna put the screen recording. Um, hey, okay, the last video I posted is seven out of 10. But if you guys can see here, I'll turn the exposure a little bit down. Those are like my past videos. So at the top is like normal Sarah. Okay, so within the first 16 hours of posting a video, you know, a normal video, MacBook video, got like 37,000 views. But then you see the video that I posted yesterday got 15,000 views. So it's like more than cutting in half. So all that means is just a signal of like, hey Sarah, go back to normal. So that's what I'm gonna do. It, it's funny, like, I just, again, like, you guys are my favorite part about this, that I get to talk to you, and the 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 reason why I want to do every day is, like, man, I want to talk to the homies every day, and, like, you know, want to feel like we're a community leading up to Christmas and stuff, um, but then on the other side, it's, like, also my job, so I'm, like, okay, it's not a big deal if I just go back to two videos a week if my uh, YouTube channel's bombing, and then I can just, you know, have a video like this with a title that 
people might be like, oh, what is the end? So I get them back and I say, hey guys, you've missed out on five really good videos the past week. You can go watch them now. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, what a weird video this is. Should I even post this? I don't know. But it's weird. My channel has been in like a good place from 2019 up until now. I've been really, I know this is weird to say, but like I've been satisfied. Um, if you go back, like consistently, my videos have been hitting like 70 to 150k, and then some have really popped off. And the ones that pop off that are like original ideas make me so happy. Like my video where I basically just talked about a note taking app, OneNote, because it's a product that I love and, uh, you know, used a lot. Um, that video has over like a million views, which is crazy. That I mean, that's so fun to see. So it's like when you're used to a certain amount of views, and then it just craters astronomically. You know, you just have to be like, okay, sorry YouTube, I take it back. I take back 12 days. I take it all back. <laughs> Let's see, is there anything else I wanted to talk about? Mm -hmm. The funniest part about YouTube, I feel like I've said this 10 times already, is it's it's like you have to, you have to reinvent yourself on a month to month basis. You know, sometimes with a job, sometimes, you know, yeah, like normal corporate world, you have 360, 360 reviews every now and then, like you have to tweak here, tweak that, but your goal posts kind of stay the same. YouTube, like you just have to be willing to change at all times, right? And and to do something and then say, nope, never mind. And this quantity thing, I am itching to make more and that's where the spawned out of. And so I feel like it's, I haven't like officially announced it, but the podcast actually is coming back. And this might be a cool video to talk about what I'm thinking, like how it's gonna come back. Um, obviously interviewing people, that's one of my favorite things ever. Um, but the stressful part of it is like booking guests every single week, right? And that creative life really started with me chilling on my bed in Tennessee. I, I moved to Tennessee for nine months after Texas, but that's when I was really getting into YouTube. And I just talked about my life and college and creativity, and then it morphed into interviewing people, and then it officially became a podcast and stuff. And I'm thinking, hey, let's take elements of all of that. And when I bring back that creative life in February, I'm actually really excited about it. And I think that's gonna scratch my itch for quantity, scratch my itch for experimentation. And then I just slap myself on the wrist on the main channel and say, hey, Sarah, go back to normal, whatever normal is, it's always changing. So I can't believe I'm saying this publicly because I was gonna wait because I don't even know if I can do this, but we can always change, right? That creative life will come back as mainly a YouTube channel podcast, but it's gonna be an everyday show. So it'll be Monday through Friday, 10 or eight to 15 minute videos covering topical things, covering uh, things in the creative, financial, world, uh, the business world, things that I'm into. It started with, man, I should turn every tweet into a video because you guys know me on Twitter, you follow me on Twitter. Um, and I just want to like create a community there that is just excited to talk about productive things and productive ways that helps your creative life. You know, whether it is talking, getting more into like personal finance or um, the business world commenting on, you know, everything that's happening. I'm going to try to stay away from politics. I don't, ugh, it just, that would cause me too much anxiety, but getting right to the edge of worldly things. That was a terrible sense, but you know, you guys will see. So Monday through Friday, kind of like news show, which I'm really excited about. And then I'm going to get guests whenever I can get guests and I'm going to live stream the interviews. So there's no post-production involved. So it's not as heavy of a lift for me. So we can still keep those interviews going with people, which I'm really excited about, but it'll be live. So you guys can interact. That's, that's the thing. I, I want to go back to like, how do I interact more with my audience and talk to you guys more? So that'll be really fun to do those interviews. as like live streams. So you guys can ask questions and maybe we like do it on Twitter spaces too. I don't know. I'm excited about that. So, I'll just, yeah, focus on that more. And then also something that annoyed me about 12 days, which was good. It was like, it, it didn't like ruin my life or anything. It was, it was fine. Cause I have help now. Shout out to John and Kyle. Um, but I was slipping on my fitness challenge. I was doing so good with the running and push ups, And then this past week I was like, Oh, I'm so tired. I can't do any of that. So I'm going to focus back on that too. Um, so yeah, this is the end drama. If you're watching this video after an hour that it's been posted, probably all the gift cards 
in the beginning are are out so sorry about that but it's been fun to just like hey kind of give back a little bit to you guys because you're the whole reason why I do this but it's fun chatting um and again I'm gonna have a video up in a few days because we have a lot of cool videos up it's just not gonna be every day so all right this is the end dramatic okay bye guys god this is horrible <laughs> I hate this. This thing is $5,000. It just seems like a new world that I actually feel silly that I waited so long to take part of it. Ooh, you're doing YouTube as a job? What, what? 12 videos over 12 days. That's nuts. You just have to find the random gift card codes in the videos. We're always so scared of all of this falling apart at any moment. That isn't YouTube, that is corporate interview bull shiitake mushrooms. I'm a mess. Do you think I'm a mess, Judy? Shout out, ladies. If you were to ask me the question, Sarah, I want to invest in a good Good lens, which one should I buy? Which is the most versatile? I would hands down say, it's a $5,000 piece of shit. Does that make sense, everyone? Does anyone need a break? Yes. Enjoy, guys. Enjoy. Be nice.